There is four games to go in the Scottish Premiership, guys. What a super Sunday it was. Or wasn't, because I tell you what, right? Two games, two piss-poor old farm teams that should have probably get beat by the opposition, and they both scrape it. It is the lowest standard of football you've I've ever seen in the top flight, man. For the two old firm teams. Obviously Rangers in recent years have been worse, right? I can't deny that. Right? But see in terms of like two teams at the same time, it has been a long, long time since the old firm were both this bad. And whoever wins the league, I mean I think it will be Celtic, right? But whoever gets into that Champions League, man, it's gonna be an absolute catastrophe. That's all it's gonna be. And uh let's look ahead to the next couple of games, shall we? Wah wah wah. Of course, our next game, home to Kelly, away to Celtic, home to Dundee, and away to Hearts. Um, I mean, I wouldn't say today it means the league's necessarily over, right? As the wind might be picking up, but to be quite frank, man, the wind should be the least of Rangers fans' concerns at this stage of the game, right? But I just look at the final next four games, like for both teams, it's like... I think the only game for Rangers that's going to be an absolute disaster is the Parkhead game, but considering we need to go there and win, that's a problem, you know. If we won at Ibrox, it's, it's always, I, I can't believe, like, the actual run we've been on since we lost that Motherwell game. It's been an absolute disaster. Bottle jobs left, right and centre, man. I, I actually cannot believe it. And a lot of people comment in this channel, oh, negative, negative, well, I don't know why, I could probably get the word out there. <laughs> negative, 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 right? I'm sorry if I can't sit back and, you know, enjoy Celtic taking another trophy from us. I, I can't. So see when we win a Scottish Cup semi-final, or we scrape past St Mirren, I'm not going to be doing jumping jacks around the, around the house or d doing the screenway or doing any sort of, sort of path, man. Because at the end of the day, we have thrown away this league. It was in our hands, man. Come on, can, can, can say in press conferences, oh, when I come in, you bit your hand off to be in this position. Aye, when you come in. See October time, around the 17th of October. Was it the 15th he came in? Anyway, 17th was my birthday. I think he came in just before that. I remember, was it was it North Queen's Ferry? I think the day he came in. Anyway, right? It's like, yeah, we would have at the time, but things changed, man. Like, the league was in our hands and we've thrown it away to a Celtic team that's pish. And, you know, the sad thing is, we're somehow pisher than them. And I don't really grasp what the hell is going on at Rangers, to be honest. Because, you know, from come on, come in, we've been good. Yeah, there was disappointing results. Since he came in, like, I look at Aris Limassol, the draw. I look at uh, the draw against Aberdeen. That 1-1 one -one at Pataudry, obviously Parkhead. Again, like, but then they were, like, the only ones up until about April that were poor. So I don't really understand what's actually happened since then. Not up until the start of March, sorry. Again, you look at March. I remember going to that Motherwell game thinking, right, piece of piss, three points. Motherwell scored before he even sat down. What's it happen? I remember, like, reacting to that game, like, how disappointed I was. But I was sitting there thinking, it's probably just a blip. Then went to Lisbon, right, and we had a really good game against Benfica. Should have won, but we drew two each. Then we beat Hibs. And then we lost to Benfica at Ibrox. It was poor, but it was kind of like, right, it's Benfica. But the reality is, that's... It wasn't just it was Benfica, because the performance against Benfica, right, was just as pish against anyone else at Ibrox. And, and again, like, could you imagine the amount more strain on this? Say we somehow sneaked it through against Benfica. What 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 state would we be in? With injuries and playing players, man, it's, it's a mess. And, I mean, I want us to win the league, obviously. But what's going to happen if we, if we do not fund this team correctly, if we won the league and got into the Champions League? We can still get in the Champions League finishing second. We are, see that team at the minute, man, that would get, I don't need there's not enough words to describe what would happen to that team if we got into the Champions League. And that goes for both the old firm, right? They would, they would, they will get absolutely fucking destroyed. Now, yeah, summer transfers, they, they come and all that, but, man. It's like every year, like the, the, the overhaul in the summer just gets bigger and bigger. And hopefully the truth about John Lundstrom and Barisic agreeing those deals, man, hopefully that is true. Um, of course, we've also got... Uh, what else? I mean, I'll talk about the game, shall we, quickly. Kelly, I think we'll win. It's at home. But again, we need goal difference, you know, to be boosted. Don't see that happening against Kelly. 
Then at Celtic Park, I mean, I don't care how we win. Preferably, yes, you win 8-0, but I mean, you take any sort of win right now. Uh, but, that, but that's the thing, right? We win at Celtic Park, even 2-1. It's like, yeah, we're joint on points, but now it goes down to goal difference. The, the goal difference that we have squandered. Think of all the cheap-ass goals we have gave away, man, this season. It didn't need to be a game. It's so fucking frustrating. So, you know, if anybody wants to complain about being too negative, no, I'm sorry, man. I I, I can't sit in stomach another Celtic League title. Oh, I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to swallow it, man. I'm going to have to swallow my pride to pish. But anyway, till next time. I'll be negative. I'll be fucking... Isn't it? I'll, I, that's not even negative, man. No, it is. It's the truth. And some people don't like hearing the truth. Some people don't like to accept that sometimes we're just pish and the team's full of bottlers. But you know what? That's what it is. It's full of bottlers. It's like Yilmaz, right? Great player. Injury prone. Needs to go. Can't afford another one of them. You know, another roof. Another jack. You know, Daryl looks like he's just an injury prone player. Need to rid of them. Alright? Well, until next time. Peace.